just like we did in our grade point average, we take our values, our balances, we multiply them times the number of days, the weight, and we get a subtotal out here. Then we total all those subtotals and we divide that by the total weights. So it's the total weighted values divided by the total weights. In this case, it's 82,230 divided by the total number of days in the billing cycle and that yields our average daily balance because this was the weighted total divided by this number of days and we would round that to the nearest penny but I think it comes out even. It's 2741 look right? Okay. So 82,230 divided by 30 2741 is our average daily balance. Now what they would do is they would then say we charge 18 percent a year which means 1.5 percent a month so we're going to multiply that by 1.5 percent and that's how much interest they would tack on because we're going to owe one month's worth of interest on that amount of money. 4112. And of course, we don't call it interest on a credit card. We call it finance charge, but it's interest. That's what it is. The reason they call it that is because that covers a wider variety of things. It covers interest, it covers late fees, it covers, you know, anytime they charge us stuff that's more than what we actually spent, that's a finance charge. Now, the nice thing about a credit card the best way to use a credit card is to pay off the total in full every month because when you get the bill there's usually uh, 25 days from the closing date of that cycle where if I pay that 2741 in full I don't have to pay this finance charge I don't have to pay any of that interest so that's the way my wife and I have been using credit cards for years 